welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a nighttime routine I don't think I've done one that's pretty recent with all three of them on Mondays usually Steven goes to play basketball but today he is home so we're just gonna do our basic nighttime routine as if it was any other day Atlas is now four months old and he's now slowly getting into a routine and he's getting into like specific nap times which is nice so he's more predictable so I felt like this was a perfect time to show you his nighttime routine since it's been pretty consistent for a while now but before we get into the video I wanted to share with you guys something that we've updated in the house we really want to focus on the house this year hopefully we can remodel at some point um, and we've just been trying to update as much as we can and one thing that we recently updated is our outdoor ceiling fan we have had one of those like leaf ceiling fans um, they came with the house it was super outdated we wanted a the outdoor to match the inside of the house so we placed this one to be black as well this is the Von Boost indoor outdoor ceiling fan it is 52 inches and 80% more energy efficient it has six different speeds which we really do feel speed number six is extremely powerful compared to our other fan and it's also extremely quiet with being less than 35 decibels it has three different LED light levels the best part about it is that it comes with this remote control that you can mount on the wall and you can fully operate it from the control which is really nice as you can see on the control it also has a timer there's a one two four and eight timer here's when you can control the light and it also has a memory function where it retains the settings for a quick on and off with the remote also the ceiling fan has a DC reversible motor so we have been loving this it also works with um, slanted ceilings as you can see ours is slanted it can turn the light on and off that's warm white that's cool white and neutral white the fan was extremely easy to install Steven pretty much did it in 30 minutes or less so yeah we've been loving it I love the look that it gives and I'm gonna have a link down in the description if you guys want to check out this indoor outdoor ceiling fan but with that being said now on to our nighttime routine Okay guys, so it is 5.30. Welcome to my nighttime routine. I, I, I would say our nighttime evening routine would start around 5 p.m. Usually Steven gets out at 4 p.m. and then he heads to the gym and either I go with him if I don't go to the 9 a.m. class or I stay back and just obviously watch the kids. Um, as far as Atlas goes, he's been trying out a new schedule and it's been working out really great for us. He takes a nap now from 5.15 to 5.45 and that's his last nap of the day before bedtime. We like to make it as a cat nap, which is around 30 to 40 minutes. We just came from a doctor's appointment, so unfortunately it's not exactly how it usually is. He would usually be sleeping in his crib for his cat nap, but because we just got home, he took his cat nap in a car ride. It is currently 5.30 and we just got home. He's sleeping in his car seat. I'm gonna keep an eye on him and just let him finish his nap in his car seat. Steven just got back from the gym. Typically, we are home. Atlas has his cat nap. Steven is home from the gym, but we just got home at the same time. He took the kids outside to go play while I can cook dinner. Tonight, we are having chicken, roasted potatoes, and Caesar salad. I feel like that's kind of like our go-to. I usually typically start cooking around 5.30 p.m. And I'm gonna start cooking now. Potatoes are in the oven. I like to do them at 425 for 25 minutes and then the chicken is in the air fryer. I tend to usually mostly do marinated chickens, but because we got home late, I just did seasoned chicken. I cook dinner five to six times a night. Um, we like to eat out once and usually it's on a Saturday. You really just have to find meals that work for your family that are mindless. The air fryer is doing its thing. The oven is doing its thing. The Caesar salad is doing its thing. While that's cooking, I want to show you guys. I got package in the mail. I got a bathing suit. We're gonna go to Orlando for spring break next week and all my bathing suits kind of fit me funky. They either fit me big or they're too small. I'm like in that awkward stage of postpartum. Um, this one's super cute, it cinches. It's just like a little bandeau, which I usually hate because I like to be secure and I thought it actually brought straps. It looks kind of cheeky, we'll see, but it looks super cute and it's ribbed. I'll have it linked down below. Kids just got back from the bike ride and Atlas just woke up, so I just fed him, I nursed him, and apparently the kids saw an alligator in a pond, right, Bryn? What'd you see? I see an alligator. And, 
and a pond. Was it big or small? It's small. Was it cool? Yeah. <laughs> Dinner's ready now. The potatoes and chicken finish at the same time. So I just, Brindley just told the boys, hey guys, dinner's ready. So I'm gonna hand oh. Atlas off to Steven so I can plate dinner. And it's 6.10 and we usually eat at six o'clock every night. Okay guys, dinner is served. Here's the final thing, chicken, salad, and potatoes. I do like to get a little bit of honey mustard to dip the potatoes in. But today, we kinda switch off between the nook table and the dining table. But we've been liking the dining table eating here. For dinner, no TV, no phones. We've been doing that ever since Brindley's been like one. We just have no TV, no phones. This is like their favorite meal. They honestly would have this over mac and cheese. Literally not trying to flex. That's just like genuinely what they love. Is it good, Bryn? Yeah. Good girl. Rowan, is it yummy? Are you just eating the ketchup? Are you gonna join us for dinner soon? Oh, you wanna be, oh, look at the lips. I think I scared him, guys, but okay. Let's eat some dinner. Oh, there's a smile. It is now 6.52. We're a little behind schedule than usual, but we like to get in the bath by 6.37, so I guess not that behind. I like to get him in bed by 7.30. We started putting the boys together in the bath, and then Brindley goes to take a shower next to her room. You are just so precious. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. Rowan gets out of the bath and he knows how to fully dress himself in his pull-up and pjs and he likes to pick out his pjs like if we could pick him out 80 percent of the time he will change the pajamas that we pick out so when he gets out of the bath i just dry him and he goes straight to his room picks out his pjs picks out a pull-up and then gets himself dressed which is really nice so all we have to do is brush his hair brinley is now in the shower i'm here with atlas I like to do bath time at least like five to ten minutes because it's activity for him it winds him down I am now doing bath time for him every night, but I only use soap on him every other day because he does have some dry skin. I don't want to like use soap on him every night. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Guys, his shoulder shrug is something new that he's done this week and me and Steven are dying over it. How old are you? <laughs> Beauty boy, did you find your hands? Oh, does that feel nice? Look at these little toes in the water. Look at the cutest little toes in the water. Oh, we got a cute little baby. Oh, we got a cute one. We got a cute one, cute one, cute one. Squeaky clean. Brush the hair, yeah. Nice and smooth. So every night I use this Tubby Todd all over ointment on him because it just is the best. It, it It's the best for his skin and it makes the most difference because he has super dry skin. I sometimes switch off Aquaphor if it's like extremely dry. I'll do some Aquaphor as well. So these two things are what I put on him every night. I don't use baby lotion. Every single night I give him his little vitamins and probiotics. So I give him six drops of the Wellaments baby probiotics every night. And then I do um, the Zarbi's vitamin D um, every single night and these are the two things that he takes I put on his outlet sock every single night and then usually after I do this He's essentially ready for bed. So I will swaddle him um, put turn on the white noise and I will nurse him before bed and put him to sleep in his room and then when he wakes up for his feeding around like 10 or 11, that's when I will take him to our room and he sleeps in our bassinet and I'll nurse him one last time before we start our nighttime. While I um, do him and the kids, Steven cleans up the kitchen. That's just like how it is.
kitchen is now clean thanks to hubby. The baby is down to sleep. The kids are big and in their PJs. I want to say like right after 4 p.m. the TV is just off. It works for us because we tend to spend more time together and it winds the kids down before bedtime. They do not get a show before bed. Um, unless it's the weekend, we'll like pop a movie on. But that's just something that works for us because it just like it's such a game changer. We used to do that with Brinley, a show before bed. And it would take her forever to fall asleep. It's either play independently or if it's late, they just go straight to bed. Rowan has a barber thing and he loves to give him a haircut and then Brinley does his makeup with her fake makeup. And if you hear her, she's in her own world singing right now and she's been doing that for the past 30 minutes. It's so annoying, but I'm like so happy for her. But she like screams. She's like in her own world. It's like, it's like the only person, it's just like Brinley. It's yeah, it's like world. Brinley's world and we're just living in it. While they are occupied with Steven, this is when I either shower or I get my stuff ready for the next day. Usually on a school night, I will do Brinley's um, lunch the night before. I fill up her water the night before. On Fridays, she does lunch at school. So thankfully, today's Thursday, I do not have to do her lunch. I used to set up the kids' outfits on their nightstands. Since Atlas has been born, I put it in a basket. And this is the best hack you can ever possibly do. I've always been somebody who sets my outfit out and the kids' outfit out forever since I've had kids but the basket is just a game changer. Every night I put each of the kids outfits in this basket so when they wake up they go to the basket and they dress themselves. So that's one less thing I have to do and it teaches them independence and responsibility and they love doing that. The next thing I do as a mom of three is I always pack the diaper bag the night before. It doesn't matter if I'm just going to school drop off gym and coming home. It doesn't matter if I'm doing a quick errand. I will always pack the diaper bag the night before. A little dance party before bed. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go to the bathroom to brush our teeth. Come on. Yeah, in your bathroom. <gasps> Daddy's doing your dirty work. Naughty boy. What's your middle name? Um, Ray. What's your last name? Um, Auburn. What's your birthday? Thirty-nine. How old are you? Four. What's your favorite color? <gasps> um, red. Um, blue, pink, and red. Oh. One Baba. <laughs> two Baba. Hey, get back here. Get in your neck now. Love you so much. Hey, buddy. Mm -hmm. Good night, little girl. Touch and touch. Love you. My favorite daughter. <laughs> we did it. Another day. <laughs> Roll <coaster. laughs> Come on, have fun. Another dollar. Another day, another dollar, another mana bata bata. Guys, that's our nighttime routine. Pretty much the same. It's like Groundhog Day here in the Osborne household. Every day. Wake up, do the same exact thing. I would say this is our spring nighttime routine. Yeah. Because summer is such a different thing. Spring, winter we kind of go for walks because it's cold, cooler out. Spring, it's just like hot out, but it's not hot enough to go in the pool. That's so what it's I like, said earlier. It's like a awkward. Yeah. I would say this is our springtime routine because in summer is a whole different vibe. We pretty much go to the pool till 7 p.m and showers are outdoor showers or pool showers like oh, it is so different I, love pool showers. I know and then winter we do walks every single night we go on a walk to see christmas lights or just go on a walk because it's nice out i hope you enjoyed it do not forget to check out indoor outdoor fan down in the description below and i will see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed peace okay oh. <laughs> Did I end it? No, he didn't end it. Oh, <laughs> awkward. Bye.